Texas, the devastation from Hurricane Harvey continues. At least 63 people have died. More than 40,000 homes have been lost. As many as a million cars have been destroyed. The Center for Biological Diversity says flooded oil refineries and chemical plants have released as much as 5 million pounds of pollutants into the air. Among those who've died were volunteer rescuers Alonzo Guillen, a DACA recipient, and Thomas Carrion. The two drove more than 100 miles from Lufkin, Texas, in order to help rescue people. Their bodies were found Friday after their boat capsized days earlier. Guillen's mother told the Houston Chronicle she tried to come from Mexico to the U.S. to bury her son, but was turned away by Border Patrol agents. She said, when we are with God, there are no borders. After headlines, we'll spend the rest of the hour bringing you voices from the ground in Houston. California Governor Jerry Brown declared a state of emergency in Los Angeles County Sunday morning as more than 1,000 firefighters battled the largest wildfire in Los Angeles history. The La Tuna fire erupted Friday, quickly grew to encompass more than 7,000 acres just north of Los Angeles, the second largest city in the United States. The fire shut down the 210 freeway and forced hundreds of people to evacuate. The Caribbean and southern coast of the United States are preparing for Hurricane Irma a powerful Category 4 storm currently churning west across the Atlantic Ocean. Both Puerto Rico and Florida have declared states of emergency. The storm is expected to make landfall on the island of Anguilla on Wednesday and then continue toward the U.S. coast. In more climate-related news, more than 100,000 people have been forced to evacuate their homes in Nigeria because of widespread flooding in the center of Nigeria. In South Asia, the historic flooding that's killed more than 1,200 people has also destroyed as many as 18,000 schools, leaving as many as 1.8 million children unable to go to class.